Hello, and welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Today's beers, uh, we're going to look at several beers from one brewery. It's not a Japanese company, but it's one that uh, many Japanese are familiar with uh, because it's uh, imported into Japan and somewhat widely available. And it's made in a location uh, in which many Japanese uh, visit. And that is Kona. Kona Brewing Company. And Kona is a Hawaiian brewing company, as you might guess, and it was founded in 1994 by a father and son who were interested in beer. And uh, they uh, have quite a few beers uh, that they've made since that time. Uh, Rate Beer lists 89 separate beers and untapped uh, almost double uh, 150. 57 different beers and the average score on untapped is 3.52 uh, so in 1994 they started and uh, they have two brew pubs uh, one in uh, uh, Kailua Kona and the other in Oahu uh, uh, in the Hawaii Kai area uh, if you are familiar with uh, Honolulu uh, Hawaii Kai is uh, uh, quite upscale sort of, uh, I guess you could say a suburb of Honolulu. Um, and so they have two brew pubs and their main brewery is at Kailua Kona uh, on the big island of Hawaii. And they also have a restaurant uh, at the airport, uh, Honolulu airport, where you can get their beers as well. Um, and their beers are widely imported into Japan and you can get them uh, at a lot of uh, uh, restaurants that special uh, kind of specialize in you know Hawaiian style or casual dining um, and they uh, were bought out by the craft beer Alliance um, which uh, was basically put together by the Widmer brothers in Portland Oregon and uh, and that group has sold out completely now to AB InBev, the large uh, multinational brewing company based in uh, Brazil and St. Louis. Uh, and so what, the, what that means is they have access to uh, the distribution that that company can provide worldwide uh, and also production. So their beers are produced at Widmer Brothers in Portland, Oregon, as well as Red Hook. Uh, in Washington State and New Hampshire in the United States and this beer this beer uh, it doesn't really specify it says brewed by Kona uh, in Kona Hawaii Portland Oregon Portsmouth New Hampshire so I uh, uh, it doesn't really specify exactly where this one came from um, in any case so we have uh, a number of beers from them that we're going to look at. Uh, in 2009, they were the 14th largest uh, beer in terms of sales, uh, craft beer, craft beer sales in the United States. So quite big. Um, and we're going to look at uh, uh, five different beers from Kona Brewing Company. Okay, so let's begin. That's my message for you. Uh, we've seen a lot of things going on uh, recently, and uh, it's time to uh, turn our attention to something we may not have been thinking about much in the, uh, the last year or the last 100 years. Um, we saw an explosion of uh, feeling over Black Lives Matter, but now we have uh, a sense of injustice towards Asian people, uh, certainly in the United States and uh, around the world. Uh, so uh, let's be careful in what we do and how we act, and let's be concerned for each other. Today's beer is another Kona, fi uh, Kona beer, Kona brewing beer, and this is called Kona. Fire Rock Pale Ale, 
and it is a pale ale, an American style pale ale, and 5.9%, 35 international bittering units. And uh, rate beer, this one uh, uh, garners 1,560 reviews, uh, ratings, and I'm sorry, one, and 1,899 ratings overall. The reviews have the uh, descriptions and ratings are simply people punching in numbers. So the, the total of them is uh, the, rate, the ratings, the 1,899. And the score is 3.21 out of 5, and 46 percentile for all beers on rate beer, uh, and 42 percent for its style pale ale uh, American. And untapped, this one has uh, 152,000 ratings, a 3.46 uh, out of 5, so a little bit higher. Uh, I have had this, uh, but not for about 6, 7, 8 years, and I rated it 3.3 back then. Okay. Uh, so far, I've been not too impressed with the Kona beers I've had this time around. Uh, they are being uh, exported uh, to Japan through the AB, uh, AB and Bev network. And uh, let's give this one a go. Again, Fire Rock Pale Ale. The label it says active volcanoes on the big island of Hawaii leave visitors awestruck by their power. The glow of lava as it meets the ocean is an amazing sight. Our fire rock pale ale is inspired by this place with a bright copper color and a rich roasted malt taste. Aloha. So the label art of course shows this where the lava uh, meets the ocean and of course the Hawaiian Islands are a product of volcanoes and they are growing uh, with each volcanic eruption. Okay so let's take a quick look at what we got here. Uh, it is a kind of uh, a mild coppery amber color uh, with a kind of thin filmy head and a lot of fine carbonation rising. I guess you can see that here. Quite a bit of carbonation rising up. Slightly hazy. Cannot see through it completely. Hmm. Okay, so my first impression is grain. Honey. This one's a little bit ripe, uh, April 2020, so almost a year. Uh, probably should have bought a fresher one to review. Grain, honey, some kind of light, light fruitiness. And the flavor is somewhat similar, kind of malt. Grain, light caramel, um, and some very, very mild hopping in mid palate through final. And some mild tracks, some mild bitter tracks in the finish. Hmm. Not terrible, not great. Um, uh, probably should I should have gotten a fresher one to to rate, but uh, this one kind of tastes like extract a little bit. I'm sure it's not. But the flavors have diminished or degraded, and uh, it's not quite as good as it probably was at first. But uh, yeah, it's very drinkable. Yeah, I gave it 3.3 3, uh, earlier. I'd probably give it somewhat similar, maybe a little bit less, like. Uh, 3.1 perhaps. Hmm. Okay, well, you might want to give this one a go. Um, again, it's called uh, Fire Rock Pale Ale from Kona Brewing Company. 5.9% and 35 international bitter units. And we will remember 